This, this uh, layout you see right now can build two turbines in a shift. It's a 10 hour shift. So if we wanted to build more turbines, we just bring on more shifts. And you can see the overhead uh, is just one mono gantry, a bridge crane, a testing center, a little bit of orange racking, and away you go. Uh, you can see there's six, uh, six turbine bases for the week's builds. The Kanban pallets are there, but I can actually see we're behind on electric panels. So it's very visual, very easy to follow. Production supervisors, lead hands can follow it through. So once Colton's finished with that, uh, that shaft assembly, he'll then mount it on top of this bed plate assembly. Your bed plate assembly are your shipping pallet, your turbine base, which mounts to the tower, your yaw ring, which allows the turbine to rotate in the wind, uh, your yaw controller, and then your chassis or bed plate. You can see the quality checklist has traveled with it. We've got our chassis, our, um, our gearbox, Siemens gearbox with our shaft assembly, our ABB generator, and our NCC. We use off-the-shelf components as, well, as much as possible. So therefore, Siemens have done all the testing on the gearbox, ABB have done all the testing on the generator. We don't have to worry about doing field testing. We can get out into the market as early as possible. In the 50 kilowatt range, we actually also test every turbine, which isn't done commonly by other manufacturers either. So it's something we also pride ourselves on. So this turbine will go on for functional tests for about four hours. It'll take an hour setup and an hour takedown. So it's a six hour cycle as well. We put the rotor hub on and we're gonna put the shells that you see lying around it. And while we ship without the nose cone and spinner on, we'll actually test fit everything to make sure once it gets on site and we're ready for installation, it's as easy as possible to install. Hence we test our turbines just to make sure that in a day, once your tower is up, you come back for another day, you're able to get your turbine up and running. So outside of the blades, which we'll go to now, all of this can fit in a 40 foot container. So it makes it very modular and easy to ship and transport to a site. So even when it gets to say Liverpool, or if it gets to Italy, you can still just load it onto one trailer and your tower on another trailer and just bring two trailers to site, as well as 40 foot containers can ship anywhere in the world. So this is a nine meter blade. And uh, the one you would have seen standing up there is, was a flat root. It would have been a, a paddle blade holder that held it. Whereas this is a circular root, more commonly seen in wind, large wind. So we have our blade holder, which has got that compression tube we just talked about. And this is the pin that, that guides onto the turbine uh, rotor hub. And this is the track that it'll pitch itself in and out of. Uh, this is uh, aluminum or aluminium. I always get that one mixed up. Um, whereas the rest is fiberglass. The tip is just metal to allow, if in a lightning strike it gets hit, you're able to conduct electricity down through the blade, out of this cable, down through the turbine in a safe manner.